There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why don't you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute.
Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep looking. You know, they're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'll try this way.
Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Brock to the empty head. Let's have a look for first shot at us, bro. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Coming this way, get down! I found a body! Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. Ugh. Whoa. Get some rest, girl. Come on, Arthur. You took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go, girl. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. In front of you. All right! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. 
for taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh... Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Huh? Yeah, yeah, right. right. oh, 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 good, good right. to have you back, oh, kids. We've yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, play us away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros y cielito lindo de contrabando. De las morenas, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. 
no se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, be good now. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay then. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. We need to be alone. You must be starving, son. Let me get you some to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. How's it going? Hi, Mary Beth. I guess I'm fine. Okay there, Charles? Hi, Lenny. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure so that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. If you say so. Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Arthur, have a little faith. Tell us again. <laughs> so I got caught. You all right, John? Thanks. Yeah. Right. Hey there. Hi there, Arthur. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. You okay, Pearson? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. Come on. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home. Okay. I'm hitting the sack. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink out first. Okay. <laughs> Over here plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. Good to see you smiling again, Abigail. Thank you again. Look Truly. after that, kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. My fault, mood. Jack. You all right? Just happy to have the boy back safe. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. Man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur, some folks change. And others is just too dumb. Come on along now, Jack. It's time for bed. Say goodnight, 
Did you think, Grimshaw? We wouldn't have got you if it weren't for her. Of course. I owe you both my life. Let's just hope all that business is behind you now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in time. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Huh? Hey there. You all right, Molly? Bored. Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. Just leave me be. Hey, fellas. Hey. My God, what did you I drink last good. night? Thanks, Arthur. You okay, Charles? Yeah. You did good getting the boy back. All in the past now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Bye, Arthur. It was good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. 
Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. Okay, well, let's talk more later. We'll see you later. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Mrs. Adler? Arthur? You look pissed off. <clears throat> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Sure. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. Well, I should get back to it. Yeah, Hi, goodbye. Karen. Oh, what time did I go to sleep? Is Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. All right, Arthur. Come here. <laughs> 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 Morning, Arthur. All right. Looking smart as always. One must have standards, dear boy. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? Okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Terrible. 